My name is Neil Malik. This is Everyday Office, a video series from NAC Training to cover something from the Microsoft suite every single day. Today's video is how to pin programs in Windows 10. In Windows 10, when you open your start menu in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you have your way of accessing programs. So for example, here I can go through the most recently used programs up here at the top, or I can sort through alphabetically until I find the program that I want. But generally speaking, for those things that I use on a regular basis, I like to have them easily accessible. And you can see two different parts of my screen right now that I have pinned programs. I have segments over here to the right on my start menu called Microsoft and Adobe for programs that I have pinned to my start menu. And at the bottom of the screen, I've pinned Google Chrome so that I could access it very quickly. Here's how you pin a program in Windows 10. Find whatever program it is that you would like to be able to access quickly. Let's say in this case it's OneNote 2016. Right click on that and you'll see that you can decide to pin it to the Start menu or under the More menu you can decide to pin it to the taskbar. Let's start with the Start menu. If I go to Pin to Start, it places the icon for OneNote at the bottom of my Start menu but then it is then draggable for me to any other part of the start menu. So I can click and drag this up, for example, up here, and place this, let's say, right below Microsoft Word in the Microsoft group. Notice that this is labeled Microsoft, but I can click here and rename it, put in a different terminology, for example, same thing over here for the Adobe group. I can click on the name of that group and simply put in a little bit of a change. In addition to that, let's say that I use Outlook, Access, and Visio. So I'll go ahead and find Microsoft Outlook, right click on it, and pin it to the Start menu. I'll find Microsoft Access, right click it, pin it to the Start menu and I'll find Microsoft Visio. Right-click it and pin it to the Start menu. Now that's placed all of these into a new group for me. And I can actually grab this group and drag the whole group up at once, place it here below the Microsoft group. Maybe I'll put the Outlook icon into this group and then drag the OneNote icon into this group. So I can rearrange these in whatever way makes me happy, including taking the group that was created here for my other Microsoft products and put in here something like other Microsoft products. Besides pinning these things to the start menu, you can also pin them to the taskbar. And that's nice because you don't actually have to open a menu in order to access the taskbar. So let's say that I use Outlook literally all day every day. I might go to the Outlook icon, right click on it, and decide under the More menu here to pin it to the taskbar besides having it pinned to the Start menu. And that places it here at the bottom of my screen. I can then click and drag this around to order it differently so that maybe my Outlook icon comes before my Chrome icon. And finally, anything that I pin to a start menu or to a taskbar, I can then right click and use the context menu to unpin it from the taskbar. Or right click here and use the context menu to unpin it from the start menu. 